While a little late to the Ultra Robot Party, we have the latest offering from Dreamy Tech, the Dreamy Bot L10S Ultra. And as the name states, it is an Ultra Robot vacuum like the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra and the Ecovax X1 Omni. Dreamy may have been late to the party, but they appear to have created a robot that improves on the weaknesses of its competition, which is a good thing. My name is Jamie Andrews and welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's take a closer look at the L10S Ultra, which is available in white only and is fairly plain looking besides the silver accent on the LiDAR cover, which is clickable to prevent unwanted damage. Also on top are three buttons, which are area spot clean, a power button, and a home button. Just below we have the AI action obstacle avoidance system, which consists of a single RGB camera and dual side optical sensors. On the side of the robot is a single wall sensor. Around back is a set of charging contacts and a center hole to fill the robot's rather smallish 80 milliliter integrated water tank. Just to the right is a rubber flap where the dirt is extracted from the robot when it docks. Under the top lid we have a factory reset button and a Wi-Fi indicator light. Also, there is a set of QR codes to use with the Mi Home or the Dreamy Tech app. The internal dustbin is a rather smallish 350 milliliters in size. On the back is a washable paper filter that just pulls off, and here we see a mesh pre-filter. To the right is a dirt extraction port, and to the left is an air inlet port, similar to the design of the Roborock S7. You can open the front of the dustbin if you want to clean it out manually. On the top are a set of cleaning instructions for the filter and dustbin. With the dustbin removed, we can see the air inlet and dirt extraction ports. Underneath, there is a set of four cliff sensors to keep it from tumbling down your stairs, a carpet detection sensor, single roller wheel, and a bristle side spinning brush. We have a standard brush roller cover but completely new for Dreamy is an all-rubber roller brush, which should help cut down on hair tangles. The ends are removable as you would expect. On the back, there are two black holes where the mopping pads go. The mopping pads are like the material used on the Dreamy W10, but these thankfully are removable and held on by Velcro. Moving on to the dock, which personally I think is a star of the show. Here we see a clean, slender, attractive design from Dreamy. Down below we have the dirt extraction port and the air inlet port on the right. The design is called Dual Boost 2.0 and is superior to a single extraction port as it can completely clean out the dirt bin by moving air through the dust bin. Around back we have a set of charging contacts, an IR window, and with these two cone shaped nubs, both are designed to help the robot dock. In the center is where the dock can fill the water tank of the L10S. Down below is the drain and the washing plate used to wash the mopping pads after a cleaning. Hot air is blown through these lower rear holes to quickly dry the mopping pads. The tray is removable for cleaning. Up above is the cover for the dustbin, which is held on with magnets and holds the brush cleaning tool. Already installed is a 3 liter dust bag which is standard in size. In the back is a mesh filter which should be cleaned every so often. On top we have a set of touch sensitive buttons which are home which undocks the robot, a dedicated button for full house cleaning, and a button to start hot air drying process. Press the home and hot air buttons to enable or disable child lockout features. The one thing to note is it is pretty easy to press the button by accident when opening the lid to the water tanks. Try opening the lid from the side. Start cleaning. There is a single LED status light on the front of the dock. Around back is a single power button for the dock and strangely absent is a cord wrap for excess cord. Under the lid we have a 2.5 liter dirty water tank with a single float to tell you when the tank is full. The clear tank is the clean water tank and is also 2.5 liters in size 
and includes a lower water pickup tube and bottom float sensor to warn of low water levels. One unique feature of the L10S is the inclusion of a 10 ounce bottle of concentrated floor cleaner, which precisely mixes with the water from the clean water tank. You must remove the water tanks before sliding this into place and do not forget to remove the cap and seals from this bottle. I found a set of three replacement tanks on Amazon for 40 bucks at the time of filming. When I began testing, I could not get the robot to work with the new Dreamy app, so I used the Me Home app, which should look and function the exact same, at least for now. Quick mapping is included and made fast work of mapping my home. It really did a pretty impressive job dividing my rooms, but I still had to make several edits to get them right. Thankfully, the process is pretty easy. As you would expect, you get all of the features in the app, including no-go zones, multi-floor support, and customized cleanings. You also have a new 3D map, but like 3D maps on other robots, for now, I find them almost entirely useless. I did not find an option for the two-way audio and then the video. Although Dreamy advertises this feature, it's missing, at least in the Mi Home app. The L10S has a very impressive claim of 5,300 pascals of suction power, making it one of the most powerful robots that I have tested to date. The vacuum on turbo vacuum mode from about 4 feet away is around 70 decibels, so it's not too terribly loud. I tested the L10S Ultra with my endurance carpet test with 54 grams of rice scattered around. With the robot set to turbo mode, I was able to confirm this is one powerful robot as it was able to set a channel record and pick up all 54 grams and score a perfect 100%. In everyday vacuuming in my home, I could tell the L10S was doing an impressive job. How about on tile floor though? In my hard floor endurance vacuum test, I scattered 130 grams of cat litter on my floor and set the vacuum to turbo once again. After a single pass, the robot was able to pick up 119 grams or 91.5%. And while not a record on this channel, it is a top performer. When it is done vacuuming, it heads back to the dock to have the dustbin emptied. I ran a separate test where I had the robot clean my home completely and fill the 350 milliliter dustbin. After the motor in the base ran for about 10 seconds, I was pleased to see it was able to completely remove all of the dirt from the dustbin. I also measured the sound at around 76 decibels of sound, which thankfully is not the loudest I've tested. I tested the power draw to be about 5.7 amps and 635 watts. Now let's talk about the mopping ability. The L10S has dual spinning mopping pads that rotate at 180 revolutions per minute and can apply some downwards pressure to the floor. Thankfully, these mops also have the ability to lift 7 millimeters to clear low pile carpet, which I think is an absolute must if you have carpet and hard floor surfaces in your home. So I'm stoked to see it here. I tested the mopping ability with my tile floor endurance mopping test where I used baked on hot sauce. I set the water level to max, removed the cleaning solution bottle, as all my mopping tests are performed with room temperature water only. Unfortunately, the L10S does not have a deep mopping mode, but that may be okay because, as you can see here, it was able to remove nearly all the hot sauce after two passes, which puts it at the top of my list for best performers. When it's done mopping, it goes back to the dock to have the onboard water tank topped off and the mopping pads washed and dried. I measured the sound level at around 70 decibels while it is cleaning, which is fairly loud compared to other docks that I have tested. It does a good job washing the mopping pads, but an even better job drying them. After just one hour, the pads felt mostly dry, and with my moisture meter, you can see they are nearly dry. After two hours, I measured the pad temperature at over 100 degrees, and found the pads to be completely dry. Like all self-washing Ultra Docs, this one you will need to clean it every so often. If you long hold the home button on the dock, it will begin filling the water base with clean water. Use the included brush to scrub the dock and when done, press the home button again to drain the water. You will still need to use a towel to wipe up and wash the removable cleaning plate. 
An ultra robot needs to have a good obstacle avoidance system. Many robots I have tested struggle with perfecting my obstacle avoidance test and the L10S sadly is not much different. Thankfully it does stay way clear of animal waste but gets way too close to other objects like socks and shoes and for some reason completely ignores cables. Even a power strip in the middle of the floor got moved around way too much for my liking. Thankfully, Dreamy can improve object avoidance with future firmware updates. After running the robot in my home for a little over a month, I am pleased to see that there was no hair wrapped around the roller brush. Here you can see some damage caused by the robot sucking up a USB power cord. There was, however, a good bit of hair wrapped around the axles of the roller brush, so check these often. I also noticed the center of the mopping pads remain dirty, which has been a pattern on this robot, so make sure you remove and clean those by hand every so often. What are some of the things that I liked about the DreamyBot L10S Ultra? Top of the list is design. It is, in my opinion, very attractive for an Ultra robot, and I really like the size, which does not look like a trash can or some oddly designed contraption. The L10S not only scored perfect in my carpet pickup test, it performed above average in my other test on tile floors. Next, while this might not be a plus for some, I really like the separate cleaning solution tank. I know it's a way for Dreamy to make money, but I hate mixing cleaners and water tanks, which always leave some sort of film behind in the water tank. Also, I like putting warm water in my cleaning tanks at the beginning of each mopping, which I can't do if it's full of cleaning solution without wasting it. There are a few things that I do not like about the L10S. For some people, the water tanks might be a bit too small. They do require more frequent filling and draining than the competition, and this robot also goes through a decent amount of water with cleanings. The navigation at times has had a few quirks. For instance, here it is traveling to vacuum my bedroom, and it looks drunk going down my hall. I also had a weird error where the LiDAR became inoperable mid-cleaning, which thankfully resolved itself after a reboot. The obstacle avoidance system needs a lot of work to stay away from cords and has no option to train it yourself. I also mentioned earlier the ability to remote view the camera with video and audio. It is missing, at least for me, although the company does advertise this feature. Finally, the robot needs to pause and lift the mopping pads when detecting carpet. In my experience, the L10S Ultra does not lift the mopping pads until it gets on the carpet, which leaves the edges of the carpet very wet. This may be a bug because it shows it working correctly in their marketing video, so hopefully it will get fixed in the future. In conclusion, Dreamy has given us a real Ultra robot vacuum that outperforms the competition's specs, options, and performance. With a retail price of $1,399, it's not really as big of a value leader as other lower-end robots from this company. But when you factor in everything else, it might just be the best ultra-robot vacuum on the market to date. If you'd like to see a head-to-head -head matchup between this and the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra and the Ecovax X1 Omni, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think about this ultra robot as well. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, share, and please subscribe. Take it easy everyone. Bye bye.